First up, don't look under the bed. Slow, slow, slow. Meet Lynn Nakamura from Honolulu. She may be enjoying her ballroom dancing hobby now, but Lynn has a dark tale to tell. A tale that has made her apprehensive when it comes to hotel rooms. Her story begins while she is on holiday in 1996. I was going to California to see my brother, and he was taking me around to different parts of California to, I guess, go sightseeing. But it was getting kind of late, so I told him, oh, let's start at a hotel. So we stopped at the motel in Pasadena. There's nothing special about the motel. All Lynn and her brother need is a clean place to stay for the night. Hello. Good afternoon. Hi, uh, yeah. You need a room for tonight? Just one room? Yes, oh, one room. Two beds. Two beds. Two beds, yes. Ma'am. Okay. There's your key. Okay. Yes. Up the stairs, end of the hall. When they open the door, they realize there's been a mistake. Oh, I got only one bed. They return to the front desk. Is there a problem? Yeah. We asked for two beds, then how come there's only one bed? The problem is easily solved, and they're given the keys to their new room. But the moment they open the door, there is another problem. As soon as we got in the room, there was this funny smell. The distinct odor overpowered Lynn and her brother. Yeah. yeah. So I told my brother, check under the bed. So he checked under the bed and he said, you know, there's, no, th there's nothing under there because it was a wooden frame under the bed. They search the room, but despite their best efforts, the two can't find the source of the smell. Although Lynn finds it unbearable, she's too embarrassed to ask for yet another room. Get something to eat. I didn't want to impose on them. I, they, had, they had already changed my room once, and I didn't want to ask to be changed again, especially since they said they, they would give me a better room. The brother and sister decide to go out for dinner and leave the room to air out a little. But on their return, the strange aroma is still lingering. Lynn and her brother are convinced that something is not right but they try to forget about it and turn out the light. I said my prayers, which I usually don't say it all the time, but because it felt really weird, I said my prayers and I, I don't know, it was kind of strange. I knew something was wrong in that room. It was just kind of creepy. Two weeks later, back at home in Honolulu, Lynn's hotel hell came back to haunt her and her husband, Richard Nakamura. Detectives in Pasadena asked the Honolulu police for help in an ongoing investigation. And I received this phone call, and he identified himself as um, a Honolulu Police Department detective. I asked him, oh, what is this about? And he goes, well, this is um, a homicide. I said, homicide? He goes, it, we found a dead woman in your hotel room. Well, it's been three or four days. Police confirmed that a young woman had been murdered, and her body had been hidden in the bed frame. Realizing she had slept inches away from the decaying body, sent Lynn into a frenzy. And that's when I just freaked out. I started going hysterical and I was screaming and <laughs> yelling. I thought she was overreacting. My husband was trying to calm me down. He says, you know, calm down, calm down, it's okay. I says, no, it's not okay, you weren't there. I says, that was what the smell was. And you know, there was somebody you know, dead under the bed. A dead body under the bed is the stuff of nightmares. But did it happen? So that leaves the horrible story about the corpse in the bed. It's a story that's absolutely true. Lynn Nakamura really did spend the night sleeping over a decaying murder victim, which had been there for seven days. Now when she travels, her husband has to check out the room first. Now I have Richard check under the beds, and even on the cruise ship I have him check under the beds first. So did you guess the corpse under the bed story was true? Well, if not, you can sleep soundly knowing there are more stories to consider on the next Urban Legends.